Hi, darling. I'm going to get started on your reading. Um, before I get started, I want to apologize for how long it's taken me to do this. Literally, from the time I told you I was going to start it until like five minutes ago is how long it took me to write this. I did the 10 card spread, um, the Celtic Cross, with two clarification cards at the very end. And I don't know too many other readers that actually do this. I just do it to summarize how I feel during the reading. Now your reading, I was pulled in two separate directions. There's two different things happening in your life right now that I feel like um, might be affecting this reading. And like I said um, in your message, I don't know if it's just a coincidence or not, but I did have a visit from a spirit, a male figure. He was very strong and he happened to look like the guy in your picture. I don't know if that gentleman is past. Um, or if it was, like I said, a coincidence, but that was one of the things that kind of pulled me in one direction, and then the other direction it went, it was regarding family life and your relationship and that sort of thing. So I'm going to get started on your reading. Hopefully this makes sense. I'm going to try my hardest um, to kind of do this kind of fast. I have to get my son ready for bed. It is 8.45 p.m. over here. It is way past his bedtime. Um, if you need be, um, you can either pause the video or um, grab a notepad and a pen or pencil and make notes if you need to. Um, I do my videos like this because it's a lot easier for me to pause the video if I get interrupted and I will know where I'm at. Um, also, during my reading, I don't know if I explained to you, I have a really bad memory. Like, really bad. So, um, what I like to do during my readings is kind of do the spread, and I get my gut instincts, gut feelings, and then I go through my tarot, bar my tarot books, and then I find the actual meaning. I'm going to have to pause this right now because my son's crying. Hold on one second. He's being silly over there. So, um... What were we talking about? <laughs> okay, so I lay out the cards, get my gut instinct, and then I go through my tarot books and I get the actual meaning. And then what I like to do is make my little notes. And I actually did four freaking pages for you because this spread was so long and there was so much going on. And yeah, I hope it makes sense to you. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, if I'm looking down, it's because I'm reading my notes. I will try to be more here in front of you. <laughs> um, so the first card, I don't know if you're familiar with the, the Celtic cross, will represent presence. Um, this could be present influences, um, issues that you're going through right now. Um, so the card that I pulled for you for the first card is the magician. Okay, so this is a strong masculine energy, like that spirit that I picked up on. Now, if that spirit is not in relation to you, if you have no idea what I'm talking about with that, if you do not have a strong masculine um, person that has recently passed, this could represent, I wanna say your boyfriend or your husband. I don't know if you guys are married. I think you might be. I will move on to that in just a second. So, the magician represents communication between heaven, earth, life, death. You are sensitive, right? Maybe? Well, I don't know if you are communicating with a person that has passed or if you've been trying to communicate with somebody that has passed or if you just have your gut intuition about your relationship. See, this is where it got so confusing with your reading because I was being pulled in one direction for the spirit and I don't know if this reading is actually for him or if it's towards your relationship. Because I know you know that energies can be crossed and messages, if you're going into a reading, it might be for the last person that you spoke to. You don't know. So this is why it was so hard to do your reading. 
because I kept getting stopped and like thinking, hey, is this for her or is this for somebody else? So, yeah, you are sensitive, and I don't know if it's your intuition that's kind of playing key into your relationship, or that you're having issues with your, your relationship, and you are getting these gut instincts that, hey, my husband, boyfriend, whoever is not being forthright. He's not being honest. Something is going on with that, I think. So, magician. Um, let's see. Everything in this card is a symbol symbol for something. So, like, the cup. You see the cup? I don't know if you could actually see that in there. The cup equals feelings or relationships. The sword on the table is the mind, logic, rational world. Um, the wand is in his hand. It represents imagination, creativity, and... There's a pentacle. I don't know if you could actually see that. The pentacle. My son wants to see the pentacle. The coin. Yeah, yeah. The coin with the star. Or the pentacle. Um, equals material. Um, meaning money or physical. Um, physical world. And if you can see, he's actually wearing a white robe. The white robe equals spirit. Spirit keeps coming up. So I don't know if that's your father that has passed or your grandfather that has passed. Some strong masculine energy coming through. And again, I don't know if that's you for you. I don't know if that person is for you. If that... I wish you would have messaged me back before I started this reading because it, it would have been so much easier. <laughs> um... So, he, uh, okay, so he, the magician is a messenger for the gods, literally the connection between the gods and man. So he is the messenger, the link between the two worlds, or the heavenly plane and earthly plane. He's the messenger. So that could literally be mean, meaning you, uh, because you might be sensitive. Now, by sensitive, I mean like psychic, empath. I don't fancy labels. I do not like to put labels on anything. But if you were to call it, call it like however you see it. Um, but he is the communication. Um, there's more to it. Let me read. Okay. So if this is not regarding a spiritual issue, let me read more about what it could mean for your relationship. Okay, so opportunity, initiative, interesting prospects, new ventures, feelings, intuitions, thoughts and sensations, um, availability of options, follow your intuition, or your hunches, or your gut instincts. Um, let's see, your unconscious or conscious mind, there's something going on and you have a gut instinct about what's going on, right? Um, -da 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 -da. and I think that's about it. Talent, it. talent backed by intuition. So you got a gut instinct ha about what's happening. If you have a loved one that's passed and you've been trying to communicate, those messages have been heard. Have you been talking to your grandfather or your dad and you want to know if they can actually hear you? If you can't physically hear them yourself? Hold on, my son's showing me something. <gasps> yeah. Moving on. So, the next card in this spread will represent immediate influences or the obstacles. Um, so, I'm trying to think of how this card that, you ca that came in the spread could represent this part of the spread. If that makes sense. Uh, sometimes I pull a card and I have no idea how it can, can connect to the reading. And this is one of those cards that I'm like, hmm, I don't know how to make sense of this. So this is the Four of Cups. If this were your obstacles, sorry, let me pause it. There is a commercial on Pandora. Hold on one second. 
Okay, darling, while that annoying commercial was happening, sorry about that, I read my notes and I kind of get a more, more of a feeling towards this card, the Four of Cups. So, I don't know, there has been a bad experience happen that late, that happened lately, and I don't know if that's the death in the family or if it's your husband or boyfriend. Something has happened that has made you kind of withdraw and shut people out and shut everything down. And you don't want to talk about it. You don't want to deal with it. You just kind of lock yourself up, put on your happy face, and do your own thing. So let me read my notes. It says, bad experience causing withdrawal. I don't know if it's a death or grieving. There's boredom, weariness. I feel like people keep coming up to you and offering advice or help, but you just want to be left alone. Um, the cups usually symbolize emotions, or cups and water, sorry, um, symbolize emotions or feelings. Um, you're deep in thought. Um, it shows that you have many options ahead, but you're really just uninterested in choosing a path or option. There's a feeling of boredom, disgruntled, sorrow. And there's this feeling like there's a block. There's blockages happening that you don't know how to move past these issues. You're jaded. And then the other thing that comes up that you're looking for a new change. You're looking for something else to happen. You're expecting something else to happen so you could move forward. I don't know if any of this is making sense. Please let me know. Um, so the next card I'm going to move on to because that one didn't really make sense. Hold on, my son is coming in. Really? Okay, so moving on to the next card. Sorry about that. This will represent your goal, destiny, hopes, fears for the future. This is the Six of Swords. And... Sorry, my son's talking to me. Okay, so this talks about travel, leaving a stressful situation, release of tension, time... And this is another card that I got stuck on because I didn't know if it was pulling towards the spirit or if it was talking about your relationship, but I felt like if somebody has passed, that it is his time. It is his time to go. Everybody has their time to go, and there's this release of, like, a sigh of relief that it's over with, it's done, that sort of thing. But, it also talks about, I don't know if you could actually see, the guy is actually crossing a river, and I don't know if you're familiar with Egyptian and all that sort of thing, but when I saw that this card, that's immediately what I thought, is when the soul, the Egyptians, oh, sorry, he's distracting me, hold on one second. Sorry, he keeps interrupting me. I know it's just like a glitch in the video, but literally I just spent five minutes talking to him. <laughs> okay, so where were we? I don't know if you are familiar with the Egyptian thought process on death and what their ritual is, but when I saw this card, him crossing the river and he's actually... It looks like... Like Egyptian to me. So, when I thought of that, I remember learning in school when they die that they place coins over their eyes and they're carried out into the river and the chariot comes to pick them up and all that sort of thing. So, if this were a card to reflect the spirit side, that his soul has risen above basically that he was ready to pass on he was ready to go forward he's 
done with the physical plane and he was ready to rise to the spiritual plane. So that's what I got on the spiritual side. Um, ba -da 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 -da. Also could indicate an ending of a relationship moving toward happier times. And uh, in other cards, in other decks, um, inside the boat you'd see people huddled together. Um, da -da -da -da. And that would represent them pooling their resources and it's kind of like a grief process and anxiety and that sort of thing. But if you look towards the other side of the river, the storm clouds have risen and they're moving towards a more positive atmosphere. Um, this could indicate a change in attitude, scared to have to let go or move on. Now, I don't know if it's your boyfriend or husband that's creating this tension, but it feels like if this is your goal or destiny or your fear for the future, that sort of thing, I feel like you're scared to kind of let go of the relationship and move towards something new. Okay, so the next card will represent the past history or how the issue came about. So this card could also rep represent your childhood or what makes your personality, how you were raised, those sort of things. Um, could also just indicate your personality and that, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and read the card. So the card that I pulled for you for that is The Hanging Man. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Sacrifices. I don't know if it was your mom or your father, or your, I think it's your father. If, I keep coming back to this spirit, and I don't know if it is for you, and it's making it so freaking hard to do this reading. So, sacrifices, your family, either you or your mother or father, someone has made a lot of sacrifices. And it's something that they've literally given up for, they've given out a part of themselves or done something for somebody else that benefits everyone else except them. Basically, they do something to help everyone, always helping other people. Just a lot of sacrifice happening. Like... Either you changed for him, or your parents were constantly giving you stuff, like, for you to go to dance class, they had to work an extra shift, or it's just that same mentality that a lot of sacrifices happened, and, and it wasn't made to make anyone feel bad, but it was to better chances for a better outcome. So if this is reflection of your father that has passed, then then he he was a major influence in your life to make you make your life better. And if it's your relationship, I feel like you gave everything you had to make this relationship a good one and you didn't really care how you, what you got out of it. You were always the one giving, giving, giving. Um, let's see. Go ahead and read my notes. Sacrifices. Sacrifices for the wrong reasons, unwillingness to change, lack of, okay, so if it is your husband or your boyfriend, I feel like he didn't sacrifice enough or he had an unwillingness to change something about himself that affected the whole relationship. Lack of effort. Effort is required before a situation improves. 
forfeiting something to gain something more value, valuable or desired. The hangman also brings up the spirit descent from higher life, earth, to lower, heaven or death, or the conscious or unconscious mind. There's still a sacrifice happening, wanting to gain spiritual insight. So that could represent you in this whole psychic awareness, psychic awakening. You wanting to learn more about your gifts, wanting to learn more Need want to improve. Voluntary surrender. No guarantee that things will work out, but willing to put others' needs before their own. Basically, willing to do anything for your loved ones. Okay, this is like the 10th time my son has interrupted me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it's just a glitch in the video, but he... Uh, let me move on to the next card. So, this card will represent recent past events, actions, or behavior. This could represent attitudes. Now, attitudes could be your attitude or other people's attitudes. It's just recent past events that affect the situation. The Five of Swords. So there's a tense atmosphere brewing, disagreements, conflicts, need to work within your limits, accepting restrictions, moving on. Victorious man. Okay, so in other card, oh, okay, you could actually sit in this one. If you can see, there's two people that are defeated in the background, and he's victorious, right? Um... So other people aren't so lucky. Even if you win a battle, there are still losers, and it's not always a happy scene, right? Not Even if you win, it still feels like losing. Um, accepting defeat, painful situation, everyone has to face at one time or another. Okay, so when I, when I was reading the cards, I felt like... If, okay, so pulling more towards the spiritual side, everyone eventually dies, right? So that's inevitable. So that is one part of this card. And then the other part is like, if... <sighs> okay, humili humiliation... Let's see. Painful situation everyone has to face at one time or another. So if you are having issues in your relationship, you're not the only one going through this. I want to say that you, you're not the only one going through it. Um, you might feel hum humiliated. Like, somebody has taken advantage of you at one point, and you're just so humiliated. How can he do this to me? Kind of feeling. But you need to evaluate the situation to learn from your mistakes, or his mistakes. Um, da -da -da. Think about the position before proceeding. Fight for something you might not... Okay, so there might be a fight happening. You might be struggling to hold on to something. But something has outlived its purpose or its usefulness, and it's time to kind of let go. Um, it says, fight for something you might not be able to have, something that isn't meant to be. There's bad relationships, either with family or your lover. Best course of action is to swallow your pride and walk away from difficulties. Pandora, you suck. Okay, so the next card I want to read represents future influences, people, short-term changes. The card that I pulled for you is the Justice card. Court appearances, divorce, wills. Did a loved one pass? 
I really want to know because it keeps coming up in this reading. So wills, inheritance, money being handed down, um, also divorce happening, and it came, divorce came up earlier in the reading too. Need to pay attention. Some people might not be honest. Rational thought, impartial judgment, fairness, truth, justice, equilibrium, mental clarity. Need to search for a logical situation for difficult problem. Now, if you look in the card, each thing, each color has a different meaning. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. So the red in the card represents passion, desire, the green. I think she's wearing green on her chest somewhere, her necklace at the very top, her necklace. Green represents healing and love. And those two colors together bring peace and harmony. The purple, there should be purple in this card. It looks more like a red or a maroon, but the the curtain in the background, wisdom, good judgments, and she's standing between two pillars. The two pillars represent needing to find a balance. The owl, maybe the owl's not in this card. What? Let me see. There's no owl in this one, buddy. Aww, okay, so either way, some decks have an owl in it, and that also represents wisdom. Matters need to be viewed impartially. Not thinking of self, but the whole picture. All considerations must be carefully weighed up. N legal, business, difficulties. Always two sides. Both need to be taken into account. So if you are going to go through a divorce, you need to think rationally. What is best for everybody involved? If you have children, what is best for your children? If you want to, if it's talking about material possessions, what's more important? Fighting over the material possessions? Like, oh, I want this car, I want this, this rug. None of that material possessions lives up to the importance of love and family and taking care of your children. So I have to say when I got into divorce, I did not care. I did not care what I took out of it. I did not want his car. I did not want anything from the house. The only thing I wanted was my stuff, which was my jewelry boxes and that's it. And clothes. You know, I was more focused on my safety, for one, my happiness, and keeping it civil between me and my ex. I didn't want a huge blow up where we were fighting back and forth and that sort of thing. I wanted it to be peaceful. Now, if this isn't regarding your relationship, this is a general reading, so it could also mean if you are having issues at work, that if you are ready to just say, screw it, and leave, you need to leave with a clear conscience, if that makes sense, that you need to leave on good terms. Um, it also brought up a will. If you are going to go get a your either your will or a past loved one, if you're going over inheritance and stuff, it's not always about what you want, but what is fair. Um, if somebody needs this, then they get it, basically. Not, oh, I want it because it's really nice and I really, 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 really want it. No, it's not always about what you want. It's about what is fair to the whole group. Okay, so we're going on almost 30 minutes in the, into this reading. I'm trying to hurry it up. I'm sorry I keep getting getting bugged by the little one. Um, okay, so what is next? Okay, so the next card will be about you, the sitter, the questioner, feelings, 
that you may have or a course of action. This could represent your role in the situation. Um, again, sometimes it just doesn't make sense. I hope this reading makes sense. Hopefully energy isn't crossed and I'm not giving you two different readings for somebody else. But the next card is the Ace of Cups. Reverse. Now reverse cards have multiple meanings. I haven't really been touching base on that yet. Um, I'm just kind of reading my notes as they as I feel them. So I'm assuming you know what reverse cards mean. Um, so again, water and cups, they're, they represent feelings and emotions. Unfulfilling relationships. It says to take off rose-colored glasses. Rose-colored glasses, when you're in a relationship, I don't know if you are familiar with that term or that phrase, but rose-colored glasses is you have these rose-colored glasses on and everything in your relationship is just peachy fine when you're looking through those glasses. He's the perfect person and perfect relationship, perfect situation. You're so in love and you're too blind to see the actual facts of the situation. So what this card is telling me that you need to take off those rose colored glasses and see, see it how it is. Um, see the relationship or people for how they are. New relationships, sorry, new relationships, love, marriage, motherhood, fertility. I don't know if you are a mother or if you are pregnant or if you already have kids, but that's coming up. Many lives, different paths. Okay, so I was looking at the card and I see all these streams of water leading to one big body of water, right? And I kept feeling like you have so many different lives happening. You, I don't know if you've had many different relationships or if you've just been through so much in your lifetime, you, it feels like you're young, but it feels like you've been through so much. Um, like an old soul kind of thing. You're kind of... See it right now? It's like, I feel your energy is matching mine, if that makes sense. Like, a lot of things that I'm picking up in this reading feels like stuff that I've been through, and it's, it's just so weird. Like... I don't know if you and a family member were distant, that you wanted to be close to them and you didn't get a chance, because it's, I keep seeing, like, you were here in this one place, but you moved this place, and then you moved around a lot as a kid, or in your adult life, that you keep moving, that you have different lives, different situations happening, and that's, that's what I got in this card, all the different rivers flowing into that one body of water. Different streams, many different streams flowing into one. Usually this card is very happy when it's upright. It's positive, overflowing with positive emotions, but reversed, there's deep sadness, grief over something lost, feelings of regret, or something unaccomplished. I don't know if you could see, there's actually lilies in the picture. The water lilies represent spiritual growth. Fresh start, new beginning, and it brings up a love affair. Oh, did you or your husband cheat? Or maybe there was a possibility? I know with the magician card that I was originally saying that you need to be weary of there might be deceit happening. So that's coming up again, a love affair. Um, let's see. Lots of emotions needing to find a healthy balance for kids involved, gain from a loving relationship. <sighs> okay, so if, it's, if this were to be a course of action, honey, you need to get out of that relationship and find somebody that's going to appreciate you. It feels like you are not being appreciated, that you will gain a lot emotionally and physically and everything just by stepping back and finding somebody that will appreciate you and take, not take you for granted. Yeah. 
so the next card is going to be environmental factors, people or outside factors, relation or relationships with other people, how your relationship is with other people. This also represents how much control you have over the outcome. This card is the Knight of Cups. A guy showing deception, dishonesty, looks are deceiving, suspicious, suspicion. This is like the third time that that has come up that you have gut feelings over somebody is not it's not turning out good. Dishonest, dishonesty. Guy, a guy whom you are supposed to be in love with and trust. Lover, proposal, marriage. Did your marriage fail? I'm sorry to put it so bluntly, but did you, are you going through that hardship with your, your family right now? It talks about divorce, wanting or needing a knight in shining armor, somebody that's gonna whisk you off your feet, and that's what this guy usually represents. He is gallant, the savior, the romantic savior, basically. The perfect knight in shining armor, ready to whisk you off your feet and take care of you, right? Is that what you're looking for? Um, but it is so if you see in the picture, he's wearing a winged hat. He has wings on there. Um, aspiration or looking for a better or good relationship. So that's ins inspiration, motivation. Um, search for perfect love. Platonic friendship can grow into more. So I feel like you're going to be needing a new either meeting somebody new or needing somebody new. The next card will represent inner emotions, fears, wishes, desires, changes in perspective, and that would be the page. Page of Cups. Unexpected views, or unexpected news, sorry. Spiritual new feelings, new relationships, birth of a child. I don't, it came up came up again, so I don't know if you are a mother, sorry, see that's me. <laughs> I don't know if you are a mother, but that's coming up again, that's the second time, um, birth of a child, message, okay, so pages are usually messengers, if you see in the cup, there's a fish coming out, what? this is new life and imagination, the water equals feelings, time for reflection, Time for birth, and then the birth could literally be me. Literally, can mean that it's a birth of a child or a birth of an idea, um, the start of something, um, leading to great achievement. Emotions, not reason. Firm foundation equals strong. Okay, so I always use this metaphor. When you are going to build a house, you need to have a good foundation. You can't build your house on sand, it's going to collapse, right? Yeah. So you need to have a firm, strong foundation so you can build a steady house. And that's the same thing with relationships and friendships. You can't base a relationship just on sex alone. It has to be respect. It has to be honesty, it has to be dedication, and all those sort of things. So, when you start a new relationship, you need to base your relationship on morals and good stuff, not deception and dishonesty and all that crap. So, that's coming up. Okay. And maybe that... Before I move on to the next card, so maybe that's what you're looking for and what you are honestly wanting out of this relationship. That you are ready for commitment, like the big shebang, and you want trust in your relationship. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the next card. This would be the outcome, and the outcome is the Ace of Wands, reversed. Although there's energy, the goal isn't defined. 
So even though you guys are putting a lot of energy into this, you guys aren't really communicating too much about what each person wants or what each person needs. And there's a lot of energy and effort put into it, but the overall goal isn't being realized. You're like, okay, so where is this relationship going, basically? Or maybe if it is... I automatically assumed this is regarding your relationship, but again, it is a general reading, so it could pertain to a business relationship. It's like you're putting all this effort into a business, and where is it going? So, yeah, just keep that in mind. It could be towards relationship or business or family or what have you. I don't know. It's general. So, efforts are wasted. Don't be surprised if plans don't work out. It brings up a child. So, I don't know if you're pregnant again. Or, again, birth of a child could either be literal or the start of something new. New beginnings, energy, passion, creativity, excitement, potential hope, goals, something to work towards, powerful rush of energy, new business venture, something to work towards, dreams may come true if effort is put into it. So, you want to work towards a happier place. You've been through so much already with the rivers flowing all into one. I feel like you've already been through so much that you are ready to set real lifetime goals. Not just something, okay, not what am I going to do for tomorrow, but what am I going to do 10 years from now? And that, it, it looks like that's what you should focus on, that stop living in today, what you're doing tomorrow, and that sort of thing. You need to look at the future and focus on what is going to be be beneficial for your life, for your children's life, for the rest of your lives. So like I said in the beginning, um, I, do two clar I did two clarifications and clarification just summarizes it and kind of touches base on things that I might have missed throughout the reading and um, I don't know too many people that actually have or do do clear, <laughs> do do, um, that do clarification cards, but I like to do them because it just helps me. So the first card that I pulled for you is the ten, bless you buddy, ten of swords reverse, new start, ending brings positivity, promise of positive future, breakthrough, something outlives its purpose. Going to be painful, okay, so... With this card and the next card, I feel like both, if it's a spiritual aspect, somebody that has passed, it's time to let go. It's okay to let go. He's ready to move on. For the other aspect, if it was a relationship or business or what have you that has outlived its purpose, it's time to let go. Um, going to be painful at first, but once it's over, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. It's the end of a situation, a transformation. It's a welcome relief, either with death, pain-free now. Okay, so if whoever has passed on was in a lot of pain right before they're passing, it's time, it, they're done with it. They don't feel it anymore, and it's a release. It's a relief that they're done. Um, or relationship. The relationship has outlived itself. It's been painful and it's been so much of a struggle that right now it's time to let go. It's outlived its purpose and that sort of thing. Um, end of falseness, end of trickery. There's a liberation from illusions. Illusions and deception. So I don't know if it was you or your husband or whoever. The, there was intuition that Somebody might have been cheating or somebody just wasn't in it for the long haul. But there's going to be a release of that tension that it's going to be like, oh, okay, it's done. Okay, so the next card that I pulled for a clarification is the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so with this one, I immediately thought it was your, the spirit talking that... 
a couple of times in the reading it brought up will, inheritance, and that sort of thing. And that's exactly what this guy is. Uh, Six of Pentacles, sharing good fortune, generosity, benevolence, charity, generosity will be rewarded, the will, or inheritance, money will go to where it's needed, fairly. Might not be what one would like, but for diplomacy, shows generosity for others in need. Inheritance, if divorcing, need to look for what's best for whole, even-handedly. So again, for whatever you're going through, you need to keep an unbiased, logical head about you that you need to think positively what's going to help everyone involved. Not just what's going to help you, but what's going to help your kids, what's going to help your husband, what's going to help... Or if it's not a relationship, I know I keep going to the relationship, but if it's your work, what is best for you, what is best for your family, what is... If, if you need to find a new job, what's the best way to tell your boss? If it's about starting your own business, you, you just need to think logically, basically. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this reading. I know it's been a roller coaster with me pausing it and kind of going back and forth between the spirit and the other issues. I hope you can make sense of it because I clearly have no idea where this reading went. Um, please let me know. Please, please, please give me positive feedback or negative feedback. Any feedback. Um, please clarify. I know it sounds like all the things that I touched base on were really personal and I want to thank you for opening your life to me because it seems like it's really, really complicated. And if it's too personal, I understand if you don't want to share, but I, I really want to make sense of what Spirit is telling me, and I really want to make sense about the cards. So please, please write me back and let me know what you think. Um, I hope you have a good day or a good night, whatever time it is. And Jude wants to say goodbye. This is, my, this is my little boy. His name is Jude. Say bye. Bye. I'll talk to you later. Bye.